Back here on 2 by 2 Sports, Monday morning talk here on Around the Premier League. Jason and Francis joining you here. A lot to talk about. It's almost as if the transfer window is taking over our best and worst segment. And it's not the players that we're talking about with transfers. It's the managers. It seems like it's some bad but still really interesting soap opera that's going on. Um, talks of Louis van Gaal exiting or being given two games, rumours have said, that, uh, to save his Manchester United career. And who's waiting at the doorstep in the rain? Trying to claw his way in, Jose Mourinho, mm -hmm. to a team which once despised him as he ran down the touchline celebrating a crucial win for Porto against Manchester United in the Champions League and fans were calling for his head, but now they might be calling for his heart. Ah, Francis, Please. is Manchester United what Jose Mourinho needs and how are fans going to respond from the Chelsea side and the Manchester United side? So I, I was asked that question on Twitter and it was an interesting question, it was like, do Manchester United need him? Do they need a change? Yes. Yeah, I don't yeah, see... Yeah. That we know. Like, players being plagued with injuries is one thing, but just sheer, I would say, lack of uh, tactical direction is something that I've noticed in Louis van Gaal's uh, system this year. I don't see any sort of uh, plan B if, they, if the game doesn't go to their, mm -hmm. uh, to their style, and I think that Jose Mourinho has that in his locker is that he's able to get the best out of a team which maybe is not always firing on all cylinders. We look back to his Porto days, he transformed them, he transformed into Milan. Of course, his time at Real Madrid is a little bit shaky in there, but he still was a good manager. And at Chelsea, of course, he, he was the only manager to come into that money to deliver them the Premier League first for that. So um, I think that he has got the talent to do so. Will Manchester United fans welcome him? Some won't. But from what I've seen, the overwhelming number are actually on board with this because Man Manchester United fans, me being somewhat of a Man United fan, have very short memories. The club is so riddled with success that if one manager is not performing to the best of their ability, they want him out and they want yeah. his head and they want Mourinho in. I don't know if the, the manager is going to solve every problem no, Manchester I don't think United so, this year. Obviously, they can't buy a goal with their life dependent on it. <laughs> but, uh, but I think it was also Roy McIlroy who tweeted out, I take back everything I said, Jose. We welcome you in full arms yes. back to Manchester United. So there's definitely some fans, of course, some fans of prominent note, uh, that want Mourinho in. So I, it's interesting because Mourinho lost the entire Chelsea locker room. Yep. Like, I mean, from the course of winning the Premier League to now, it's an insane 180 that, that it's taken in Chelsea. But who's going to come in to save Chelsea's ass? Well, that's Great. And by the way, they're, they're the round of 16 for the Champions League. Yeah. So still, and they, and they that's a big job to take yeah. over and they seem like they just had somewhat of a resurgence this weekend but we've seen it before but they beat a very poor Sunderland Sunderland oh. are coming back to form or Chelsea back the, ah, it's the question everyone <laughs> asks no but the same thing is that 3-1 scoring some goals in there poor conceding of a goal but fans well, there was one fan that actually held it up held up a picture that said the three rats and it was Fabregas Hazard and Costa yeah why so, so it so seems much? like it seemed well Fabregas came out publicly and said that he learned a lot from Mourinho and he's going to miss him but I guess there's some talk in there that in the dressing room players turned against Jose Mourinho and wanted his head and wanted him out so um, it's pretty it's, it's it seemed a little obvious not I guess not out of the performances that you saw but it was obvious in some of the work right I think well, especially Sesk and Hazard well right well Hazard's been gone for he's yeah. not he's missing yeah that's that booty's become a $10, little bit too dollar reward if you find <laughs> yeah. Hazard walking around Chelsea um, but so we'll get to the best parts of the, the weekend again once again the best part of the Premier League is this unpredictability it's, it's just so impossible Watford deserve all the credit in the world as do Leicester do we expect Watford to beat Liverpool 3-0? No. It's just something that I didn't expect to happen, but now they're pushing towards top four. Leicester are sitting top of the league going into Christmas. Like, you cannot predict that. Leicester are the only team in the history of the Premier League to be bottom of the league one year at Christmas to go into top of the league the next year. That's awesome. Uh, there's references to American sports I can make, but I won't. Don't worry. Good, good. I'm not going to. I like you. Uh, two things about Leicester, real quick. One, uh, I hope Vardy and Mara's, is that pronounced it? Yes. Mara's, yeah. Mara's. Stay. Yep. I know Mara's, at least according to Sky Sports Transfer Center, which is one of my favorite things to follow because it's so back and forth. You never know what's going on. And one day it's one thing, the next day it's what? What? Who? Mara's is playing flu over Manchester. Where? He's going to Man City. Yeah, <laughs> so I hope they stay at Leicester. I don't know if that's got the biggest draw of all clubs. Obviously, it's not a United, a Manchester City, a Chelsea. I get it. It's yeah. not a, 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 a big market, as we would call it here mm -hmm. in the United States, but uh, it's awesome to watch. Leicester City's become appointment viewing football. Uh, absolutely. Like, and uh, here in the States, NBC Sports plays the Premier League champions 
over and over and over again, which is Chelsea. Now, while Chelsea's off-the-field antics are great, their on-the-field antics are not nearly as, excited as exciting as watching Vardy and Mars score goal after goal. And Vardy's been assisting on some of those goals. So while he's, his streak of, of uh, goal-scoring form, record-breaking form, has kind of come to an end, to say, like, he's still so dominant on the pitch. Stay. Leicester City. You guys I would like I would love them to stay and as you mentioned before, it's like it's that if, even if do even if Leicester finish top four, which I think will be a fantastic achievement to them, I, I still I just can't bring myself to, to believe that they'll win the Premier League. I would love to see it. It would be just a a clear representation of what this league stands for and how the underdogs can come up and, and push for top four and push for that title race because one thing is all the other teams are inconsistent and going through their own troubles. Mm -hmm. But then again, a team that's kind of driven by two real good players and a few other players in there that are really good can can make a run for the title. But if they finish top four, I still don't see how if a Man City with a Offers. new manager come in or if a Man United come in Mars with turned down 30 million pounds. Yeah. That was like the most. But if that goes up to 50 or 60 it's, it's or 70, not, And it's not much him. It's, it's Leicester. Like, they're... The thing is, even if they do make that and they get that, that boost from it, they don't have anywhere near the same amount of finances as Man City or Man United. So Man not. City come in with 60 million, you literally cannot say no. It's like someone wants to buy your house and you need to pay off the mortgage. They're going to come in and you're just going to accept that amount of money they're going to offer because there's nothing you can do about it. No, of course, there's too much. It's a, there's, everyone's got a price, man. Everyone's yeah. got a price. Uh, also, their manager, uh, I read that in Ranieri. his contract. Yeah, in his contract. For every position he finishes above last season, yeah, last season, hundred k. That's not bad. He's got a, he's got some good money coming <laughs> a couple in. Couple million right. bucks. So then, so then to finish this conversation, I guess it is uh, the, the track. I think that we both agree that in terms of best of the Premier League, we're looking at Leicester and Watford and teams like this who are continuing to justify the odds oh, and well, push yeah, up yeah. to the higher end of the table. Tottenham picking up um, a good victory there, a bouncing back after their loss to Newcastle. Newcastle tying with Aston Villa, but I, I, I just can't see past. Manchester United for my worst and it's been a consistent trait because I talked on tactics Jason I put my neck on the line and said that I would have to talk cricket tactics for the rest of my life if Man United didn't win this game Cricket tactics. This is the first time you didn't say I'm going to eat my shoe. Yeah, and I'm glad I Fuck. didn't because I'm kind of full from my breakfast this morning I didn't want to stuff a shoe in my throat, <laughs> but the same thing is talking cricket for me No offense to those who like cricket It's just gonna be a painful thing that I will have to if I'm gonna hold up my end of the, the bargain to do but I just couldn't see Manchester United losing this game, and neither could anyone. No matter how bad United have played, look at the betting odds. It was so in favour of Manchester United winning. It just proves that this team but they are nowhere goal, near. But Francis. That's, that's one that has small to be so thing enlightening, is that they saw the ball go to the back of the net. And the thing is, they brought back a lot of players. Rooney was back into the starting lineup, and you're like, Smalling was back, Jones was back. How can you possibly be losing? All, no, no one's ever said, oh, Phil Jones, he's back. <laughs> yes! Do you have a Phil Jones face? I got. I don't have a Phil Jones face. I also don't have a Phil Jones shirt, but maybe I'll buy one. <laughs> Who's that? Phil? Phil but, Jones? Yeah, that, that face will live long in the memory. And I think that face accurately sums up Manchester United season so far. And what do you think bad. of the rumours? Do you think that if Louis van Gaal loses his next two games, he's out? They have Stoke in Chelsea. Interesting if he lost against Chelsea, was sacked, and then the former Chelsea manager came in. Can't make this shit up. Someone buy the movie rights, tweeted that out. Make sure to hit me up on Twitter, at Francis underscore Maxwell, Jason Rubin 91. Let us know all your thoughts on the Premier League, and also a good, and I would say a good moment to end on. Fuck you, Sepp Blatter. Enjoy your eight years away from football, as well as Platini. Looking from the outside at the Champions League final. Anyone let me in? 